Hi, this is Brennan Davis from Bedrock Games and the Bedrock Blog, and this is a late night movie review. Sometimes I do these late at night when I've uh, finished watching something uh, before I go to bed or something. So these are a lot more casual, a lot more laid back. They're usually filled with all kinds of mistakes. Uh, tonight I'm reviewing Jade Dagger Ninja from the Jade Temple Collection. Uh, this is a movie that uh, was brought to my attention after I uh, had talked about Shaolin Fox Conspiracy. This is, this is the same movie, but this is this one has like 10 extra minutes and it's uh, and it's a dub rather than subtitle, uh, and the tubbing adds a lot to the uh, uh, the feel of the movie. So it's got a very different feel from the sub version. And I don't remember if I actually reviewed Shaolin Fox Conspiracy. I might have just talked about it, but someone online mentioned I should take a look at the Jade Dagger Ninja. So I I, I tracked down a copy and I, uh, I I I watched it just now, and so. Uh, uh, it's a little hard to compare them because it's been a while since I since I saw uh, Shaolin Fox Conspiracy, uh, but from what I remember, I can I can see you know definitely a difference in how the uh, how the dubbing um, affects the the overall feel of things, and there definitely seem to be some extra uh, extra scenes in there from what I could recall. Uh, th this I believe is a story that's based on a Gu Long uh, series, the uh, the Lu Zhao Feng. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I'm, I'm again. It's late, but I'm pretty sure it's based on the Lu Zhao Feng series, and uh, and and so the character is sort of a uh, a sort of clever flirt with a uh, you know sort of a um, I don't know. He's he's got a he's he's got a sort of sharp tongue and a sharp mind. And one of the things I like about the movie is the way that the the banter during the combat scenes plays out again in the in the subs i found that this played out very differently in the dub version it's a lot more playful the dubs in this definitely lean on the playful side and i should say at the outset of this review that the version i got the jade dimple collection version at least on my tv it's probably not the case on a lot of other tvs but on my tv there was a weird strip on the left so that it looked like the screen was shifted a couple of inches to the right. I feel like I was still seeing everything, but there was like a bar on the left side of the screen and a little bit of a weird trim around the edge. So it kind of looked a little funky. The image quality wasn't great, but it also wasn't as bad as it could be. Um, and the and again, the dubbing, uh, a very playful dubbing uh, with a lot of innuendo. The, the subtitle version had innuendo too, but this one really had a lot of double entendres and, uh, and also more, just more puns in general. Um, just to give an example, there's a, there's a scene where he's uh, fighting a bunch of characters who call themselves the Four Kings, and, uh, and, um, uh, and he says something about how they're supposed to be so great, and he says, you know, they're no Four King good. So, you know, it's a very sort of heavy pun that only works in English. I don't think there's any way that that would have also been a pun in Chinese that would have worked that way. Uh, and in the sub version, I think he just said something to the effect of, oh, you guys say you're invisible and you're not, inv you know, you're not invincible at all. Uh, I can't remember the exact wording, but it wasn't, it didn't have as much punch as the, as the dub. Sometimes I kind of like it when the dubs add in stuff like that, even though I know it's adding in something, um, it does make the, the, the watching experience a little bit more enjoyable. Um, but, yeah, so, again, this is a movie about... Uh, I'm trying to go... It's basically a MacGuffin movie. There's, a, there's, there's something called the Purple Jade Badger, and it contains a potent elixir. And if you drink this elixir, you'll increase your kung fu. So the characters are all kind of vying for this. But there's also this backstory between uh, a woman named Madame Shung, who's, like, one of the... Uh, one of the sort of the villainous characters in the movie, and another character um, who I I think is just called Governor Lou. I can't remember, but he's um, he's sort of her former lover, and he's the the uh, she's the leader of I think they're called the Heartbreak Red organization, and he's the leader of Sunset Vila. And there's a lot more characters than that, but. But but they're sort of the um, the two driving forces, uh, you know, sort of in 
in the story and and the main character Lu Xiaofeng flying fox is sort of uh you know sort of investigating in the middle of all this and and trying to uh uh I think if I follow it well and again it's a little it is the story is a little bit crazy and it's a little bit late but I'm pretty sure he's uh uh there's a you know there's another big bad guy who uh I think his name was um Shen Wu Han and he's trying to get his hands on the uh on the uh, purple jade badger, but I believe he also killed uh, Lu Xiaofeng's wife. So there's like a, uh, you know, um, uh, a sort of, you know, there's a lot going on in the movie. It's, it's very chaotic. Uh, but the fight scenes are great. The fight scenes are really spectacular in this movie. They're swift. They're, they're, the physical performances are wonderful. They're, 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 again, it's a bit of a grainy movie. You know, the 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 the, the image quality is not a hundred percent, but the but the fight scenes all have just a sort of wild, fun quality to them. The whole movie is just fun. It's a it's a very sort of fun, enjoyable movie. Everything down from the fights to the banter to the sets. Uh, you know the you know again, it's not Shaw Brothers sets, but I think they do a pretty good job with the sets that they use here. So I'm pretty sure this is a Taiwanese movie. Um, I think it came out in 82, but I, I saw conflicting things, so I'm not uh, 100% convinced. It's directed by uh, Lee Chao Yung, and um, it's it stars uh, uh, Doris Lung and Chung Hua and Tian Peng. Uh, one of my favorite characters in this movie, and I know I'm jumping all over the place. Again, this is a late night movie review, so I apologize. But one of the things that's good about the film is the characters. And the characters are really sort of these over-the-top gulong style characters and I, I i've always admired uh how they just feel like they're they're scooped up from the the darker more insidious areas of the zhang hu uh but he always seems to kind of give them a slightly redeeming feature of some kind they might be you know they might they might have some kind of deep flaw to them but there's also something about them that makes them attractive characters and so my two favorites in this one uh, there's a, a guy named Master Coldheart, and he's played by Chung Hua, who does a really good job uh, with this character. And he, he kind of walks around playing a flute and, and, and saying sort of really sad poetry about his broken heart. And he's in love with Madame Shung, and she has no interest in him. She's been leading him on for 15 years, but he's, he's uh, just constantly wallowing in his... In, in his angst for her and he's just a it's a real over-the-top kind of thing but it, it works and uh and uh and you know he ends up he ends up uh uh i, I don't want to spoil what happens to him because people might watch it but he, he i i love where they go with his character i love i love how uh i, I love his his big scene with uh with madame shung and the other character that i really like is um and again i'm probably gonna uh get her name wrong here but sai Chu Chu. Who's uh, who's like a really uh, I don't know how to describe. It. She's basically like a flirty nymphomaniac, but there's no there's no like sex or anything in the movie, so it's not like it's it, it it's not it's not like uh, you know I'm trying to think of a comparable film. It's not like Bloody Parrot or Intimate Confessions of a Chinese Courtesan. There's nothing like that going on here. It's all all of the nymphomaniac stuff is just used to get sort of the banter down and have interesting interactions with the characters but she's also genuinely fond of uh li xiaofeng and so that it, it takes her character in a on a very interesting arc and by the end she she kind of makes a profound gesture that uh that you know again there's a lot of melodrama in this kind of movie there's a lot of uh you know just uh, i don't know just sort of sudden twists and turns and so you know, I, 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 again, I don't want to spoil anything, but I like the way that they, I like where things go with her character. I like, uh, I like where, where everything takes her. And, um, and then there's also, uh, I guess this doesn't spoil anything, but it, it, it might hint at what's to come, you know, but there's, the film ends with this great battle with, and I, I don't know what the, the proper name for the character is. It's credited on, uh, uh, Hong Kong movie database is the green creature with white mane, which pretty much describes what you're seeing on screen. This, uh, this, this elixir, uh, it doesn't just enhance your Kung Fu. It turns you into this wild, 
you know, savage creature. And so, uh, you know, the, the final battle is, uh, is just, is, is just gonzo. It's gonzo. Um, so yeah, so I, I think I might've covered everything here. I know it's, uh, again, I apologize. Again, these late night movie reviews, I just watch the movie. I get on, I just start talking and, and, uh, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think the, the thing I really liked about this with, with the dubs, the thing that the dubs added to it was the banter just really came through. Uh, I think part of that too, is the fact that you can, you know, when I'm watching a sub movie, my eyes are shifting between the subs and the action. And because this was dubbed, I'm not doing that. And so I'm able to sort of see how the, the what's being said aligns with what's being performed on screen. The dubs, I don't think, though, are accurate. I think that they're, uh, they definitely seem to be taking some liberties. Uh, I think it was all kind of, I, I was, I, what I tried to do was I tried to open up um, Shaolin Fox Conspiracy on my iPad and, and watch some of the subs to see how they lined up with the dubs. And again, I don't know, you know, uh, I, I don't know, uh, uh, you know, the, the, how to speak the language, so I have no idea how accurate the, the the subs themselves are but I'm on the I'm working off the assumption that the subs are probably more accurate than the dubs and for the most part the you know the areas where I did check and I didn't do it through the whole movie I just if the line struck me I would go in and look at that moment in the film uh, it, it seemed to be you know accurate to an extent but it, it also took some 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 liberties to 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 make it, uh, you know, either more sexy or more, you know, more, more of a, more of a, uh, of more of a joke or more of a pun, um, and so I don't know how everybody would feel about that, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I thought it, I thought it added something, uh, especially with, uh, with some of the dialogue, uh, with, uh, with the Sai Chu Chu character, um, and Sai Chu Chu is played by Fan Ling, I believe, um, but again, this is, um. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I loved uh, Shaolin Fox Conspiracy when I first saw it. It really sort of struck a chord with me. It's uh, again, it's sort of a wild, fun, you know, kind of crazy movie. It's definitely the sort of film that I think you would, uh, it would, it benefits from watching it earlier in the day. Is my my suspicion. I think it works really great on like a on a on a morning where you don't have anything to do. It kind of has that Saturday morning vibe to it. So uh, I, I would definitely recommend watching it then. Uh, but the uh, but this version again is a little bit longer, and the dubbing adds a whole other layer to it that the sub didn't. Um, I would definitely recommend. Uh, I think Shaolin Fox Conspiracy is actually on Amazon Prime, so I would recommend checking it out there. I would also recommend if you like it, getting the uh, Jade Dagger Ninja. I am I am not unhappy with the purchase at all. Even though there is that little weird thing on the screen, I was, you know, fine with it. If you're picky about that sort of thing, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it was my screen or if it was the, the DVD. So my my, D, my TV is a little weird. It doesn't handle older DVDs all that well. So it might have been that. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but, uh, and, and, and again, just some of the, um, some of the, some of the dub puns that they got in here were great. The, the, the you know, you're no forking good. I thought was uh, the whoever whoever came up with that in the in the in the dub room was was really you know bringing their A game. Uh, you know it, it was it, that that was a pretty good pun. So um, so yeah. So I I I definitely enjoyed the movie. Uh, this the DVD itself doesn't come with a whole lot of extra. Some of the cool things it does have though is it has uh, the it has the fight scenes as separate chapters. So you can either, you know, just watch the whole movie straight through, you can skip to individual chapters, or you can go to the fight scene section, and just go directly to the fight scenes, which I really like. I, I think that's a good feature to have on because because a lot of times I'm I just want to see a cool fight scene. And sometimes I'll, you know, I'll pick out an old movie that I that I like and I'll just go right to the fight scenes that I like. So I think that's a good feature to have. There's not many other features beyond that though. And you it's only in the dub. So, you know, there's no I was not able to fiddle with the settings to get it to look any different on the screen. So, um, so it kind of is what it is, but, but again, I enjoyed it and I, and I liked having, I think, I think it was an extra 
10 or 8 minutes or so. I don't know the exact amount, but there was a little bit more time. I'm, I'm quite certain of that because I, I lined up the the um, the tracker on, uh, on you know, like I got it to the, uh, the same times and different on the two versions. And uh, and there was definitely more on the on the 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 Jade Dagger Ninja um, version that I had the the Jade Temple Collection version. So so yeah, and so so and again, some of the some of the banter was really good. There's a, the scene where he does the whole no forking good thing. That whole scene is great. There's a uh, a Buddhist monk and a I think a guy named Fierce Tiger and Flying Fish, and it's it's just there's just so much you know the so many great one liners from um uh you know from from the uh from the action and and the uh uh and the and the Lu Xiaofeng character just has this like on point with these with these zingers after you know it's there's it's kind of like a, um you know like the the eighties uh action one liner thing he just has he just always has the right thing to say when he dispatches the guy so so yeah, so again, the name of the movie, it's it's either going to be Jade Dagger Ninja or Shaolin Fox Conspiracy, and I I think you, you if you get it, you want to make sure that you you know you uh, you know which version you're getting. Um, again, I think both are fine. I I enjoyed the Shaolin Fox Conspiracy version. I enjoyed the Jade Dagger Ninja. I think it's kind of nice getting the subs and the and the versus the dubs and you know the the Shaolin Fox conspiracy has a slightly nicer uh you know uh, title card and things like that but uh but you know I, I think I think you can watch either one you'll be you'll be fine if you if you want sort of the full version I guess the Jade Dagger Ninja is probably the way to go um but I I, I don't know there might be a version of Shaolin Fox conspiracy that's also just as long I'm not sure so so anyways, yeah, it's a uh, uh, Jade Dagger Ninja 1982, uh, you know, the, the blast. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a blast. And so, uh, so yeah, so I will be back on tomorrow. We're going to do our, uh, our finale for the Return of Condor Heroes uh, discussions. And we're going to do our 14 Amazons, which I just watched again uh, before I watched uh, Jade Dagger Ninja and... And so we're just gonna we're gonna keep it casual, but we're gonna talk about it, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, 14 Amazons is an outstanding film, and so I'm really curious what the others have to say about it. Uh, I I I don't think I've talked too much with any of them about about that film, so I don't know what people's opinions are, and and I'm really curious to see. Again, that's also on Amazon, so you can go and check it out. Now the Amazon version. Of 14 Amazons has the opposite situation from the Jade Dagger Ninja and the Shaolin Fox conspiracy. Uh, the the 14 Amazons on Amazon is the dub version, and so I have the the, uh, the DVD and my DVD has the subs, and I really think the subs are much better uh, for that film because so much of the drama you really need the weight of of people saying things in a way that doesn't sound like a bad dub sometimes and so the dub on the um on the amazon version is not that bad i think i think you could definitely get the you get you don't you don't miss too much some of the stuff mean you know as always some of the meaning shifts a little bit from the dub to the sub but i i think that uh i think you can still get the gist of everything and uh i just think that you know the the characters have a lot more gravitas in the um in the in the sub version so I would. I, I think it's a. It, I, it's it's late at night, so I'm not gonna get this straight. But I, I'm pretty sure it's like a Funimation version of the DVD, or I think that's the company that 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 printed it. But I can't remember. Um, but it's like a Celestial Pictures Funimation. Um, but it's a it's a, it's a it's an outstanding movie. Uh, I can, I can't recommend it highly enough, and and we'll be talking about it tomorrow. And so, uh, so yeah, so I will be back on and we will talk to you later.